Inside Science TV. Each day, thousands of airplanes fly over the United States at the same time. 87,000 flights crisscross the country each day. Most of us see air travel like this, but scientists at NASA see it like this. The United States is very crowded, especially if you go to places like in the Northeast region where you have New York area and the Washington area, the Northeast corridor, that is the busiest traffic uh, anywhere in the world. It takes tens of thousands of air traffic controllers, dispatchers, forecasters, and engineers to get all of these planes and all of these passengers where they need to go safely and efficiently. Air traffic is an amalgamation of thousands of people making decisions. To help them make those decisions, aerospace engineers have created software that can track flights in real time and help to find the best routes around congested skies and bad weather. What it provides you is sort of a picture of what is going to happen later so that uh, people both in the airlines and the FAA can make adjustments. You can see the East Coast flights take off early in the morning. Flights increase throughout the day and as the West Coast wakes up, more planes fill the space. Each of these aircraft, yellow thing you see is an aircraft in the sky. At this time of the day, this is like 9.30 in, in the morning. Another view shows each color representing different airlines. Each and every flight plan has to be filed at least an hour before takeoff. But even the best laid out plans can be disrupted by bad weather. As weather changes, uh, uh, conditions change, and there are opportunities for more efficient routes around weather and the current automation that is available to, to airline dispatchers and, and FAA traffic managers does not alert them to opportunities for more efficient time and, and fuel saving routes around weather. You can see bad weather moving over New York City. Planes are circling until they are cleared to land. Each minute delayed here costs the airlines an estimated hundred dollars in fuel and operating expenses. This aircraft is waiting for its time to land, so he is circling and you can see this aircraft, this aircraft, and also aircraft coming from the south, they're all in a holding pattern. Every 12 seconds, a new list of potential alternate routes is generated. When a dispatcher clicks on the flight, a more efficient route is revealed, showing time savings and how many other planes are in the air near the alternate route all adding up to a faster, safer flight. A few minutes saved, especially tens of minutes saved, is very significant to, to an airline. The software is already being tested with American Airlines. It's a new way to look at flying that could save us all time and money. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.